22-year-old Harvey Ferguson Watts lives with his mum in Melbourne, but as a minimum wage call centre worker, he's still struggling to make ends meet. We don't ever use the heating. We just rug up at night, um, you know, try to save cost on, on that. A survey has found one in two call centre workers is living paycheck to paycheck like Harvey. Oh, I've got mates that were in the office that now have to work from home because they can't afford the $10 a day for public transport. The vast majority of workers that we surveyed are feeling worse off than they were a year ago. The Australian Services Union surveyed admin and call centre workers and found more than 40% were struggling to make their wage stretch the distance. Just 7% were living comfortably on their income and up to 30% said they struggle to afford basic expenses. Many are feeling forced to forego health care, um, they're skipping meals and they're even selling possessions just to make ends meet. And the squeeze is being felt by lower wage workers across the board. Inflation has been outpacing wage growth for a year and a half, so the divide between the cost of living and what workers earn keeps growing. People say they're feeling the pinch in ways that they haven't before, leaving some to reach out to support services like Food Bank for the first time. With the colder weather, people are turning on their heaters, their energy bills are going through the roof and they're having to make decisions like heating or eating. And most of them realise they have to pay the bills, so they're out of food. The ASU wants the Fair Work Commission to award a 5.5% pay increase to private sector administrative workers. The Australian Council of Social Service agrees. We'd like to see that, that the minimum wage increase is at least uh, on par with inflation so that for people who are on these low wages, the situation doesn't get any worse and they don't get further behind. The Commission will make a decision later this month. Isabella Tolhurst, ABC News, Melbourne.